What's up everybody? It's Boy Mutant here uh, for breakfast. My mom made me bacon and eggs and toast and that was really good. Uh, for lunch. For dinner I had a uh, was wrap at uh, my, my work uh, that had mayo and chicken and I put some Swiss cheese in there and jalapeno and lettuce and tomato and olives and uh, oil and vinegar and that was pretty good. Um, I'm sorry, I don't know why I look like that. I wish I could make it darker. I can only make it orange. What's better, orange? Is orange better? I don't know. Um, and then, you know, like an hour and a half ago, I just had a, it's like 520 calorie, um, like, like chicken fried rice meal that was like frozen. <laughs> Like it's frozen food and I cook, heat it up in the microwave. It was fine. Not really worth the five. I'm sure I could have something that was 500 calories. It was way tastier, but you know. Um, I'm just hanging out today. Um, I'm really looking into line drying my clothes. Uh, I don't know how much of this I did yesterday because I said, you know, everything yesterday while I was rather tired and I'm still kind of tired now. Uh, So I um, bought the shirt today. Um, I'm going to buy six more later. Uh, for those of you who don't know, it's Patagonia's Work Hemp Pocket Tee. It's 55% hemp, 45% cotton. Um, yeah, it's a really, really good shirt. My eyes are all watery. I don't know why. I'm sorry. I, you know, uh, yeah. Um, I ordered a small. Uh, normally I wear a medium, and this is actually an extra large hoodie, but this hoodie runs very, very small. Uh, but, yeah, the website says, sorry, the website says the shirt runs a large. And so, um, I was like, okay. Um, and then I looked at the model, right? Well, let me go to, Patag let me go to patagonia.com. You'll see what I mean. I'll just show you guys my reasoning. Yeah, so look at this guy who's 6'1 and is wearing a size medium. I don't know. That just doesn't, that doesn't seem, like I'm six feet tall and this guy's 6'1 and the medium looks like that on him. And I don't know, you know, I looked at the size chart and I did my measurements. It looks like I would fit a small better. Um, a small is just a couple inches larger, uh, small is just a couple inches larger than my chest measurements, but We'll see if it is too small. I, you know, I'll just return it. Patagonia has a very good return policy. They'll just give you store credit, um, and you know, um, I'll just return it. I'll get a medium, uh, but I'm kind of worried that I'll get a small and then I'll want like a somewhere between a small and a medium. Uh, but we'll see. We'll see. Um, you know, then you know, I'll put the rest of my shirts in a box or something. I don't know. And then I'll just be wearing the same shirt every day and it'll be very nice. Um, and I won't have to worry about, I don't have to worry about what shirt I'm gonna wear because I'm wearing the best shirt. Um, my plan is to line dry them outside. Um, I have 250 feet of nylon paracord. Why well, I have 500 feet of nylon paracord that I've bought, uh, but I have 250 feet of white and 250 feet of black. Uh, the only use I've had with my paracord so far is making a cobra knot on my water bottle um, and replacing the laces in my uh, New Balance 550s with some white 550 paracord because uh, they're just wear my work shoes and it's nice to have some reflective laces. Um, but, you know, it'll be nice to, you know, use that paracord as, um, you know, uh, wire for drying. Um, the plan is to dry them, you know, inside out, uh, upside down. Uh, so then the, 
And that's what it says on the Patagonia care section of the website. It says this is how you take this the best way to dry our, our shirts. Um, they're like, you know, wash them on cold, you know. And uh, once you wash them on cold, wash them inside out, upside down, line dry. Uh, so then, because, you know, dryers are generally very bad for clothes. Um, but... Yeah. Um, but yeah, we'll see how the shirt fits. Um, yeah, they have, um, some way nicer colors, like, um, like this is a really nice color, but they have this big hemp leaf on it. <laughs> and, you know, I'm, <laughs> I'm not necessarily sure if I can, if I can wear that, uh, you know, just like out and about, um, you know, I'm in Seattle, but, you know, you know. Uh, aside from that, nothing else has really gone on. Um, I'm probably gonna get ready for bed pretty soon because I have work 11 to 4 tomorrow. Today I worked, um, 3 to, 3 to 6. Um, but yeah. I hope everybody has a good day. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Like, this guy is six feet tall, same height as me, and is wearing a size medium. And it it just looks a little big. It just looks a little, like this, he, he's a big guy, right? And I'm, I'm I, you know, I'm pretty skinny, right? So I don't know. Why is this photo so sharp? Why is it so, why is it so, why is it so sharp like that? I don't know if you guys can see that on video. It's like, it's like this guy doesn't have an, any anti-aliasing on him or something. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just thinking. We'll see. Because I would hate to get a medium. And look at this. Look, 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 look. Size and fit, true to size, only 48% of reviewers say it's true to size. 34% of them say it runs kind of large. 16% of them say it runs large. You know, only four, like 48, like, like what, what, you know, what's 30, what's 34 plus what's six, seven, eight. 50, 50% of people say it runs large, you know, as opposed to 48% of people saying it runs true to size. I don't know. I don't know. They're saying it runs large. I don't know. God, imagine being 6'7". Look, look at that. Imagine being 6'7". That's cr I, <laughs> You know, that would suck. Um, you know, sometimes I kind of wish I was a little shorter. I got a twin XL bed instead of a twin bed, because uh, a, a twin XL bed is the length of a queen bed, but the width of a twin bed. Um, and you know, that kind of sucked because there's like less sheets and stuff. I don't know. You know, I wish I, w I, wish I was probably a little shorter, but um, you know, people like uh, six foot people and I think it's a little useful sometimes. I, th I think it's, you know, I think being taller is more... I'm just rambling. I think being taller is more useful than being shorter, but I don't know. Check out these shorts. I was wearing them a little bit this morning. I got them last summer. There's my Cole Buxton International shorts. They're made in England. I really like the Cole Buxton brand. Um, they're 100% cotton. They're really nice. They're like... This is one of my favorite objects. Here's the tag here. It's got a nice embroidered embroidered logo here. British people, how'd the coronation go? I don't really like the monarch. It's got a single pocket in the back, which a lot of brands do now. I, I think Cole Buxton may have started that, but I don't know if that's true. 
and it's also got a pocket here. Um, Cole Buxton also makes some wool shorts. Um, well, let's just go to the, let me copy my, my webcam over. Let's go to the, to the Cole Buxton website. Let's, let's do some shop, let's do some shopping. Okay, hold on, I need to put these, these shorts away. But yeah, those shorts are probably my, my happiest purchase, aside from this hoodie, probably. Anniversary t-shirt. Ninety pounds? Why are you ninety pounds? Why are you ninety pounds? Why are you $113? <laughs> That's crazy. Okay, last I heard, a Cole Buxton shirt was like, at, at most, like maybe $70. Hold on. How much did their t-shirts cost? Go to dollars, please. Why are these so expensive now? Did they raise prices? Oh no. You know, their shirts are nice, but, you know, yeah, they used to be like this price, you know, like. They have a hemp shirt. <laughs> it's crazy that they call it a lightweight hemp, hemp long sleeve t-shirt. It's 70, oh, you can't see. They say it's a lightweight hemp long sleeve t-shirt. They say it's 70% cotton, 30% hemp. That's a little silly. Um, they're heavyweight warm-up pants. These are kind of their um, flagship product. I tried, yeah, they, I, they may have been around this price when I got them. Um, I got them and I got a large, um, but they were honestly just way too small. They do say cropped length, but I guess I didn't really understand that. Look, see that? See? I, you know, I thought I would like that. I didn't really like it. I had to sell them on eBay. Cole Buxton does do returns, but since they're a brand in England, they, um, they don't do outside of the UK, so... I don't know. Also, they're washed black. Sweatpants used to look a little different. Uh, Cole Buxton does a lot of, like... They call it athleisure, you know, kind of silly uh, term, but um, I really like what they do. They, the only thing that bothers me a little bit is they have like, yeah, like they have like, like these quilted bomber jackets, you know, and I guess, you know, it's very interesting looking. And I, I, you know, I like the, I like the zipper on the, on the top and on the, on the bottom here. I think that's interesting, but the thing that freaks me out about about brands like this, right? That just sort of make things and then they put their brand on them and they're they're cool, right? They're you know, it's a it's a cool jacket. But, you know, Cole Buxton doesn't make jackets, you know? Like they're not a jacket company. They don't make jackets. Like, I would much rather I would much more trust a jacket from, I don't know, Patagonia or the North Face or I don't know, Arcteryx, you know, like a company that makes jackets, you know, like a jacket company. Uh, but the thing is, is that Cole Buxton just kind of makes everything. Like, I'm sure they have very nice hoodies, you know, and I'm sure they have very nice sweatpants. And they do have very nice shorts. But, you know, do they have very nice, um, you know, they used to have like a, yeah, do they make very nice like knit sweaters? Like, I don't know. And you look at the, you look at the, if you look at the makeup, you know, 26% of it isn't even, isn't even knit. It's not, it's an artificial material. Well, it is knit, but it's, it's artificial.
Their socks look pretty nice. <laughs> Those shirts look so stupid. <laughs> I'm sorry. I like Cole Buxton, but, um, man. Yeah, Cole, they also used to sell a denim jacket. The thing that freaks me out about that is, you know, I know a lot about denim, and I know that Cole Buxton doesn't, I'm sure they don't make very good denim. If they aren't a denim company, I'm sure they don't make very good denim. Daniel, Sin Daniel Simmons. Uh, he's a YouTuber, but he made some pretty interesting looking sweatpants. Some gray ones. Pretty expensive, right? 130 pounds. But they look they look really nice. I don't know. They're not like they're not like cropped like um the Cole Puxton sweatpants and you know they look like they look really nice and I, I appreciate the, the drawstrings on the front. The Cole Buxton warm up sweatpants had um drawstrings on the inside and you know that's that's okay, but you know, I kinda like them on the front. I think it's interesting looking. Um yeah. But the thing is, is that it's still kind of in the YouTuber merch category. You know, it's not necessarily like a, like a clothing brand yet. Um, God. Is this like fine? Are you guys looking at okay stuff here? Oh, okay. Fear of God has this line called Essentials. You go to my high school, you see everybody wearing these, um, I'm sure we'll see them. Oh my God, wait. You go to my high school, all you see, all you see is people wearing the Essentials Fear of God hoodie dog. Not necessarily my thing, that's all I'm saying. All I'm saying is I'm not paying $100 for an 80% cotton, 20% polyester hoodie dog. That's crazy. That's crazy. You know, it's not even cropped. It doesn't look interesting. It has this weird black rubber patch on the back of the hood. I don't know. Not the vibe. Not the vibe. Don't really like it. Uh, they also have more, you know, more expensive stuff. Yeah, this is 100% cotton, this hoodie, but it's also $500. God, this is this hoodie I'm wearing right now. This is the the Yeezy Gap hoodie. It was $171 on StockX. They were selling it for 80, I think, when it was being sold for retail. Um, you know, it's 100% cotton. I'm sure it's infinitely higher quality than this $495 hoodie. Um, that's all I'm saying. You know, sorry, you know, but you know. I like Patagonia though. <laughs> uh, I think they're a little, you know, I agree with their politics, but I don't necessarily agree with them doing politics. Uh, all of it is just a little silly to me. Uh, but you know, I mean, they make like, you know, some guys walk into the sub shop. I don't know. Uh, Patagonia actually does have this, uh, this, uh, this fleece, this fleece vest. No, not vest. 
jacket, fleece jacket. Yeah, this. I really like this jacket. I think it's really nice looking. Uh, the only problem with it to me is that it's literally 100% polyester and I think it's rather dishonest to be experiencing the natural world with artificial materials. Uh, you know, kind of nice looking though. It's certainly a nice looking jacket, that's all I'm saying. I, I really like this. Um, you know, that's nice. Not salvage, L, L, not salvage denim, L. What are those, Levi's? This guy's, this guy's really wearing Levi's right now, L, sorry. Um, okay, that's a nice jacket, I like it. Um, that one's half off, not even a bad color too, wow. Okay. It's 11.53, I have, oh, it's about to be 11.54, I have to upload this video in six minutes. And it's a 21 minute long video, I might upload this video a little late. Oh well, you know, I'm, I'm really tired. Um, I hope you like shopping. <laughs> See you, dude.